The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Christ's First Advent Prefigured. By faith Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Hebrews 11, verses 24 and 25. While he was sitting under the very shadow of the throne, the Spirit of the Lord stirred his heart to lift the crushing weight that was pressing his brethren into the lowest degradation and slavery. His heart ached with sorrow, as if he himself were in slavery, laboring in the brook kiln and sharing their degradation. They were slaves, suffering under the cruel lash. They wore a reproach and a hissing to all the Egyptians, from Pharaoh down to the lowest serf. But the Lord has singled out Moses as the one to deliver the oppressed race, and by forty years of exile, under the discipline of God, he was prepared for the work. Understanding the evil disposition of his own countrymen, knowing how many would be perverse and unreasonable, understanding that they might betray him, he was yet considering ways and means to accomplish their deliverance, though supposing that he himself had forfeited all right to be the instrument. But God, in the bush which, though burning, was yet unconsumed by the fire, presented himself and selected Moses as his agent. Moses was accepted as a co-worker with God. He knew that scorn, hatred, persecution, and maybe death would be his portion if he should act any part in espousing the cause of the Hebrew captives. He had stood in great popularity as the General Pharaoh's armies, and he knew that now his name would be bandied around and falsified, but he esteemed the reapproach of Christ, greater riches than the treasures of Egypt. Hebrews 11, verse 26. He laid down the prospect of a kingly crown and took up the burdens of his oppressed and afflicted people. Moses was chosen of God to break the yoke of bondage upon the children of Israel, and in his work he prefigured Christ's first advent to break Satan's power over the human family and deliver those who were made captive by his power.